Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Chips and Tricks, and I just did a couple of videos on zigzag. I'm not going to call this zigzag, but I was thinking about when I was drawing the zigzag. I drew indexing lines, and I just controlled D and left my uh, nudge factor to one inch or my duplicate distance to one inch, and I just made some one inch squared. But this is irrelevant now that we, uh, I made the other video about the uh, using the uh, distort tool, but you could very easily have it, if you've got snap to guide, guidelines on that are, you know, right here on most cases, I've got snap to guidelines on, you could draw, and I actually got off on that last one uh, from uh, talking, but you will go right to the intersection. So you can't really, you know, now all your nodes are going to be equal, but that's irrelevant now because it's so easy to draw that other one. But if you wanted to draw another shape, let's say, and uh, do something like this here and then come back and, well, that doesn't look very good. Let's say we'll go there and there and then back to there. And then, you know, so this would help you if you were going to draw some other type shape. And, and then we're still going to round off the corners. So let's say... I'll mess that one up. So if you ever mess up, instead of just backing up, you can go to the, uh, now because I'm breaking, you know, those segmental lines, I'm going to have to probably weld them together. But I was just going to show you the rounded corners would work on every case of this. And one thing we can do, and I know this is going to work, is take the smart fill tool and, whoop, evidently I've got a leak. So evidently I don't know the answer to this. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab it all and move it over here. Move it over here so we can look at it and see where our leak is real quick. Normally, you can see them from a distance. And there's probably a good leak right there. So what we can do first is go ahead and join all these. There's our leak right there. And I just was talking and wasn't paying attention. So to join all those, we can take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. That's a color I was using earlier today from a, making something look like wood. I don't particularly like that, but we're going, now we're going to left click, right click. And, but we can make all these corners. I'm actually going to take this one out, um, get the uh, shape tool and just delete that node. I wanted uh, regular edges, but if we select them all, go back up to windows and dockers and corners, we can do that 25% and now all the corners are rounded. So I showed that in the zipper video, but I'm not gonna call this zipper, I'm just gonna call it uh, drawing with indexing lines. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.